everyone. I thought that I would show you um, this um, Colouring Heaven collection um, magazine today. Now my husband ordered this um, when I became an affiliate for um, Colouring Heaven. Um, I had a look through their website at what they had and he absolutely loves Tove Janssen's style of drawing and he wants to try and replicate that in some of his art. So he wanted to um, buy this um, so that he could um, have a look at that. So I thought I would show it to you because um, I think they're fun, they're so cute. I'm not going to be doing any tutorials colouring from this book, it's not going to be coloured in, it's going to be his sort of reference book. But I thought I would just show you anyway, because I thought, was, as I say, it's cute and it's fun. So uh, I'm not going to move it to the side, just because um, all the pictures, oops, all the pictures are on the right hand side. But we do have, I'll just show you the inside here. We have a little bit. Tove Janssen Janssen was born in 1914 in Finland and after studying art, her first moomin like character was seen in Garn magazine in 1943. Tove's first book, The Moomins and the Great Flood, is the story of Moomin Mama and Moomin Troll's search for Moomin Papa and how they found Moomin Valley. In all, nine books were released in the series, together with five picture books, comic strip and a theme park between 1945 and 1993. Tove passed in 2001. 2020 sees the Moomins celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Moomins, meet the characters and explore their world at moomin.com. So this is the 75th anniversary edition. It's quite an old magazine, but that doesn't matter. So we have here a colour combination chart. They have these in all of the magazines, so you can try some mixes and combos and things. And it's quite nice for testing your pencils on. But I have um, coloured um, one of the pages, a couple of the pages in their magazines. And I find them nice. Um, I layered up, um, I was using polychromos, and I layered up about 12 layers, and there was still plenty of room for more. I was light-handed, but even so, is uh, it's uh, it, it's a nice uh, sort of paper to use and it's single sided it's not thick thick but it's thicker than copy paper i'd say it could be twice as thick as copy paper so it's nice and because it's single sided you can uh, you can put something behind it to lean on you can use pens that might bleed obviously you need to be careful of your page on the on the um the next page but that's pretty um i find them pretty nice to use so let's get on with our pictures. What I like about this is we've got a bit of a background going on here and I think it's quite an interesting idea for us to take away that if we've got a small picture in the middle of a page we could do this sort of thing around the edge. So this is Moom and Mama, she's doing her knitting, very cute. Now I don't know the characters where it's a long old time since I watched Moomins on the TV. But on the back here it says, meet the Moomins, Moom and Mama, which is number one, which is the one on the other side. Now this is number two, this is Moomin Papa. So here he is typing away, he looks a bit, he looks a bit um, stressed, doesn't he? I'm not sure what colour the Moomins are, I can't really remember, but this is Moomin Troll. He's got his little fishing net, and in the background here, look, we've got sort of fishing related bits and bobs, which I think is rather good. I've just heard the postman. I think um, my husband ordered some things from Cold Pens. Trying to turn this round for you, my tripod, it might get in the way. Oh no, we're okay. Snork Maiden, she's having a snooze, well, isn't she? And again, we've got just a lined, simple line striped background, but I think that would be fun. Maybe I shouldn't have turned it round. I don't know which way round the next one is. Oh, it's Snuffkin. I've always thought Snuffkin was a bit miserable, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. And that's pretty. Look, it just got a repeated floor. You could do that with a stencil. Draw a line and then put your stencil flower through. It's nice. Sniff we have now. I don't recognise Sniff. I don't remember. But again, look, we've just got a stripe. It looks very wallpapery, doesn't it? Which I think is rather attractive, I have to say. And Philly Jonk. Hmm, no, don't remember that character at all. Anyway, we've got an, the opposite stripe. I actually prefer the stripe the other way. I don't know why. It doesn't matter, does it? Right, let's turn around. We have the Moomin family here. So we can see all of the characters. This one we haven't been introduced to, have we? So we've got Mama, Papa. We've got Moomin Troll. There's the girl. Is that Snuffkin? I think that's Little Mai. Is it? I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember the names. 
I haven't, as I said, read the book for a long, long time. Funny that. I, my, I tried reading it to the children, but they didn't like it. So, whittling. So look, a little knife and then making a boat. It's rather nice. So keep it this way around. Oh, and it'll be the other way. Moom and Papa and the Hattie Fatteners. So these must be the Hattie Fatteners all the way around the edge. I don't remember that character at all, but he looks rather cute. We're going to be round and back and forth, aren't we? This one's called Gardening. It's Moom and Mama, look, with her apron. Got some florals to colour. There's a lot of black there, but I think that's okay. There's um, this sort of background that can be done there. Oops. This one's called Crafternoon. So they're doing crafts. So that's what, so there's Papa and Mama. Papa always has his top hat, I think, and she has her apron. I assume that's Moon and Troll. I think the girl looks slightly different. I don't know her name. This is called Moon and Troll and Friends. We've got quite a lot of different characters here. I, could be, I don't recognise this one. And those ones from earlier. There's a few lots of different people, figures there. Moomin Troll and Friends again. We have a different, less friends in this picture. This, oh, this one's nice. This is called Moomin House. That's quite pretty. I think that's got a lot of scope for interesting colouring with the wood and the tree and the roof. I like that one. The beach, it says, swimming. So, who's this character with no face? They're obviously turned the other way, having changing their clothes, I guess. Me and Papa's hat. Me and Mama's going in with her apron on. She left her handbag sensibly there, though. And this says the beach um, seashells. So we can see the shells. So that one, that's, oh, this thing. Beach rafting. That's pretty, isn't it? So we've got the water to do and the sun and the wooden um, raft. Look, it's got his typewriter with him. Obviously, I wouldn't go rafting without my typewriter. <laughs> the beach fishing. Wow, that's some fish. That's quite big. <laughs> Camping, and it's called relaxing. It's a rather chilled picture, my mum and papa. And the, the siblings there. Let's have a smoke of my pipe when I'm camping. <laughs> oh, this one's called hot chocolate. Oh, look how nice. I assume that's a little bit of cream to go on the top. I don't know. And she's pouring it out this little jug. Nice. Camping again. It's uh, called a be prepared. So they've got all their kit, a big sack full of bits and bobs, binoculars and a flask. I don't know what half these things are. But I think that's a gun. A bow and arrows. Mm. And bits and bobs. This one is oops, called picnic. Camping picnic. Let's have a look at it around the right way. Oh, so we've got our picnic basket but and another basket of bits and bobs there. That looks more like a sewing basket to me. Some trunks. Uh, I think that's like a racket, isn't it? And a fishing, fishing bit. This one is called the Riviera Reading. It's got all these different books to colour in. Fireworks. You could always do some fireworks behind them. She's got a present. Hmm. Hmm. Is that Moomin Troll? That's Moomin Mama, isn't it? Thanks, Mama. The Riviera Smash. Oh dear. Uh, I think that's ice. I'm assuming that's the breaking the ice so you can go swimming. I'm assuming. This one's called the Riviera Boating. Oh, he looks so cross. Obviously the engine isn't working. And doesn't really care. Have a little sneeze. I assume they're on holiday. Just be chilling. Okay. This one is called Moomin Mama. We'll know what to do. And it says Moomin Troll. So it's a quote of Moomin Trolls and she'll always know what to do. Oh, is it reassuring if you know your mummy's always going to know what to do, isn't it? I try my best. Oops. All the pretty things. Oh, that's Snort Maiden. Oh, that's her name, Snort Maiden. We had that earlier, I know. I wasn't paying attention. So she's got all sorts of shopping for her. 
hope for the best, prepare for the worst, as little my. Yeah, I think that is quite a good policy, really. Although preparing for the worst sounds really negative, at least you're, you feel you're ready and you're in control, just in case. So, there we go. True love. Oh, I thought she was his sister. She's obviously not. <laughs> Boom in Troll and Snort Maiden. Oh, that's cute. Good night, Mimi and Papa, Agatha Christie. I always have a bit of a bottle of wine, Agatha Christie. Hmm, I'm not sure drinking in bed is really the thing. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sweet dreams, little my. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh, she's in the sewing basket. Oh, that's adorable, isn't it? Adorable. Oh, the Mimi's happy birthday. Oh, look, so it's her birthday and they're giving her a bottle and a cake and some flowers. Or oh, his. Oh, that's Moomin Troll, is it? I just thought the bow and the crown looked girly, but that's Snort Maiden, isn't it? So maybe it's Moomin Troll's birthday. Best of friends are Moomin Troll and Snapkin together. That's rather nice. And you've got this tree to colour as well. That's nice. This is a little bit more complex. I'll read what it says. There's a lot of text. The Moomins and the Great Flood, 1945. In all nine novels and four picture books, in all nine novels and four picture books about the Moomins were released between 1945 and 1980. Tove Janssen and her brother Lars Janssen also created the Moomin Daily comic strip commissioned by the London Evening News for over 20 years. As a visual artist, illustrator and author, Tove Janssen expanded and transferred her expression tirelessly up to the last years of her life. Her works were a reflection of an entire life philosophy, eliciting enthusiastic responses from children and adults alike in all countries where her works are known. Now this is a much more detailed picture with a lot of black, but that is rather nice. I think those are the style that um, my husband really likes, with a lot of detail. He loves pen and ink. And here we have Comet in Room in Land, and it says, I assume that's the right way up, or is it, should it be that way? I don't really know, because he's upside down. They're all upside down. I don't know. When mysterious signs start to appear of a strange star with a tail, young Moomin Troll and his friend Sniff set off to consult the professors in the distant lonely mountains. Their journey is packed with adventures which they share with new friends they meet on the way. Snapkin, the carefree wanderer, the fascinating snork maiden and her brother the snork, they discover that an eerie comet is heading straight for their beloved Moomin Valley, but can they race home before the comet crashes? Memoirs of Moomin Papa, 1950. That's a gorgeous picture. Look at that. I love the way light and shade is achieved just by strokes of a pen. The Memoirs of Moomin Papa was first published in the UK in 1950 under the title The Exploits of Moomin Papa. What emerges is a story about storytelling itself as one fabulous tale follows another. And it's not just about Mimi and Papa, but Sniff and Snufkin's fathers too, the rather muddled muddler and the carefree jockster. Add this to the mix add to this mix the genius inventor Hodgkins and a grand finale in which Moomin Papa rescues the shipwrecked Moomin Mama from the waves and the fun becomes irresistible. Memoirs of Moomin Papa, 1950, so this is a picture from there. So the characters are different to the ones, the other ones that we have seen. And again, Moom Memoirs of Moomin Papa, 1950, but look at the detail, look at that dark colouring. It's, it's a sort of anchor boat and trees and things. Someone having a snooze and someone with a saucepan on their head. Moomin Summer Madness, 1954. Oh, that's the wrong way. The Moomins, in case you didn't know, are kind, philosophical creatures with velvety fur and smooth round snouts who live in a tall blue house in a beautiful woodland valley beside the sea. Now you know what colour to colour their house. Blue. One summer, a grumbling volcano causes Moomin Valley to flood, forcing the Moomins to leave their beloved home and find refuge on a floating theatre. When the casts are drift, leaving Moomin the Snort Maiden and Little Mai marooned on land, Moomin Summer Madness ensues. Will they all be reunited before the final curtain? I suspect so. Don't you? <laughs> I can't turn the page, bear with me. 
Oh, oh, we're back round. So this is from Moon in Summer Madness. You can see we've got water and the chair and things are floating. She's underwater getting some cups. It's interesting. Or he. I don't know who that is. We have another picture from Moon in Summer Madness. Look at that. Such all these stripes in the reeds. It's quite an interesting way to draw them and add in texture to the hat and the outfit. She's asleep in her little basket. And again from Moon in Summer Madness, picking flowers. And again, and we've got two pictures here. So we've got this, I assume that's the entrance to the theatre it was talking about, the sort of lit up entrance. There you go. Oh, there's a bike going up and down. We have one that goes up and down our road every so often. I've got a map. Now this isn't in a language that I can read. It's rather fun. Oh. Moominland Midwinter. Let me turn around so you can have a study of the picture. And it says, the Moomins, in case you didn't know, oh, this is the same thing, are kind philosophical creatures with velvety fur and smooth round snouts who live in a tall blue house in a beautiful woodland valley beside the sea. They love the sunshine and sleep all through the winter months, waking when spring arrives. Except one year, when Moomin Troll accidentally awakes and finds himself stranded and alone in a mysterious world blanketed with snow. In Moominland Midwinter, we follow Moomin as he overcomes his amazement and isolation, and with the help of the wise Tutiki and fearless little Mai, begins to explore the glittering new landscape. I remember watching a TV show when it was winter. have another map type picture so my trifle gets in the way so this is again from Moomin Lab in winter I can see all the snow I'm not sure how colory friendly that one is with so much snow but colouring snow is something that you know snow isn't all white so it could be interesting I think that might be the last one there we go and uh, there we are so it talks about um Coming Heaven Discovery Club, but I'm not sure because it says just a pound, but I'm not sure whether that's relevant because um, this is quite an old magazine. But this is interesting. It's actually an advert for Moomin Shop Camden, which is in London. It's got the address and uh, and their um and their website. I had no idea that uh, that there was a Moomin Shop, and now my husband knows. I think he's quite keen on going. But anyway, there is the um sort of magazine as it were i thought it was just fun to show you as i say there's going to be no tutorials from that because my husband isn't going to want me to dirty the magazine any more than it took just to do the flip through he said i could do a flip through but i don't think he's going to want me to go near it after very precious with things like this so i shall let uh, not and uh, that's that but uh, hopefully that's been fun and i will um put a link to it um, as i say i'm an affiliate so i do get money if you um buy it but there are lots of other um, magazines on all sorts of different um, um, sort of topics and um, there's like Wallace and Gromit and f just sort of fairies and different things like that so if there's something that you particularly like then it's quite fun to be able to get one but there we go so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed um, a tour through um, Moomin Pictures um, I hope that you have a lovely day and happy colouring <laughs>